Last week, we followed Shane as his 2013 season began. All the food plots are planted. All the stands are trimmed out. And now, it's opening day. At Whitetails Inc., we do all the work and don't hunt with outfitters or guides on huge pieces of managed property. We're do-it-yourselfers just like you. Some call us crazy, and honestly, we may be a little psycho. We document our hunts on camera, enjoying the outdoors as much as the kill. We have extremely high standards and only compete with ourselves. The only thing that makes us special is our level of dedication. Welcome to Whitetails Inc. This episode of Whitetails Inc. is brought to you by Wicked Tree Gear. Ozonics, scent elimination that works. White Knuckle Productions. Vortex Optics. Lone Wolf Tree Stand. Stick and Pick Trail Camera Mounting System. Tenzing Outdoors. Arborware. And Covert Trail Cameras. It's September 14th, opening morning here in Wisconsin. I am actually hunting in suburbia this morning. Um, earlier this summer, I lost uh, permission to hunt that my best property. Um, they're gonna start keeping it in the family now. So <coughs> that uh, is traditionally where I go opening day. Um, that property's really good early season. It, well, it's actually good year round, but um, I have pretty good luck. Uh, success there early season for seeing for seeing some good deer so I do not have any pictures of any shooters that I know of for sure on this property but I haven't checked the cameras in a while so it's like the third third weekend of the season and this is only the second time I've been out I've been so busy I haven't been been able to hunt yet so of course the the time that I set aside for myself, it's 80 degrees. Kind of a warm walk-in, but hopefully a big buck will come in and uh, get thirsty. everything that could go wrong has gone wrong this morning. Got up to the top of the hill and a deer started snorting at us. Then we got to the tree and kicked like, I don't know, like a whole flock of turkeys out of the tree right up above us. Then I climbed the stand and I used the uh, lone wolf hook system and the hook wasn't in for the cameraman spot yet. So I pulled that strap out of my pouch or out of my pocket and the hook came off of the strap. Fell to the ground, but on the way hit the climbing sticks, then hit the ground. So that wasn't real quiet. So I have the stand hooked with two straps right now without the mounting bracket or anything. So that took a little bit of finagling to get that set. Then Brady climbed the tree and gave me his safety rope so I could secure that to the tree before he got onto the stand. And when he did that, he had a carabiner that was loose in his pocket, didn't realize it. And that also fell to the ground and hit the climbing sticks on the way down. So it hasn't been great. I haven't seen any deer yet, which 
much. I think it's because we might have pushed him into the next county with our debacle. So on my way in here this, this afternoon, I walked right by one of my cameras. So I uh, grabbed the memory card and I have a little picture camera that I always use um, in situations like this where I can just take a peek at the pictures in the tree stand. I got pictures of, I don't know if I actually gave him a name yet. Um, well, he's not a super great genetic deer, but at six and a half years old, I'd probably kill him. So anyway, who knows, maybe he'll come by here tonight. If he does, like I say, I have a feeling I would shoot it. It's not, it's not something that's gonna score real well, but it looks like the thing weighs 350 pounds, so. And he, like I said, we figure he's like six. I forgot to send in for my Sandhill Crane hand grenade permit. Bumps me out, I hear they taste like chicken. Um, I've had, so far I've seen a, a buck and a doe. Um, kinda got bits and pieces of them is all I could see, so it's, it's still fairly thick in here. The leaves haven't really dropped. So it makes filming a little bit tougher, but anyway, all the cranes are gone now, and hopefully I'll have a little peaceful and quiet morning now. Sun's coming up. Now we can, if we can just get some deer to roll through clothes. Correction, I thought the cranes were gone. season here in Wisconsin opens up here. Today is Wednesday. It opens up this coming Saturday. So today I think is my last uh, 
last try at this. Um, as you can tell, I'm hunting up along the river because of all the cranes. Um, actually, speaking of cranes, with Thanksgiving coming up next weekend, or next week, I'm wondering if there's a way, if I started a petition, how many people would go along with, instead of having uh, turkey for Thanksgiving, if we could all just eat sandhill cranes. I mean, they got it. They got it taste kind of sort of the same, I would think. A little more neck meat on a crane. Back, uh, finally back out in the tree again. The deer sign in here is ridiculous. There's just tracks and trails all over the place. I'm actually probably only 60 or 80 yards from their barn. Um, the people that own this, what they're doing is they're coming out of the neighbor's draw and filtering up through this little, there's just a little tree line of box elder trees here. It's probably only 40 yards long. I'm kind of right in the middle of it. All these deer are kind of running, uh, coming in perpendicular to this tree line. There's a ton of ice on the trees and stuff, so it's going to make things a little bit harder to see. But I'm hoping that uh, I should be able to see them coming um, kind of up the valley from me, so. I'm back in that same spot that I got permission to hunt um, just a couple weeks ago. I sat here last Saturday night, I guess a week ago, and um, saw a ton of deer. I didn't get them all on film because I was getting kind of locked in. I had deer all around me. One real nice buck that I saw, I got I got a little bit of footage of him. I don't, I don't think he was a shooter, but he was a good deer. Anyway, the trail's coming up here a little bit heavier now, so I think there's more and more deer coming in. Um, we actually put a ground blind uh, in tonight too. Before we got set up here, we put a blind in. It's supposed to get really cold this week, so um, we might uh, try to sneak a couple of evening hunts in after work this week. It's my uh, last hunt of the year. Season closes tomorrow. Um, and uh, it's supposed to be just nasty tomorrow. Winds and stuff are supposed to pick up. It's supposed to be really cold. I don't know, all I can do is hope they get up here before dark. Last night of the year, I'm trying to make something happen. Although Shane ended the season with on-fill tags, we are thankful that he was still able to share his story. Hunting is truly more than just the kill, and that's what we strive to show on Whitetails Inc. You've heard and seen testimony about Ozonics, and I understand your apprehension about scent elimination products. It took me three years to try one myself, but I have got to tell you, they work. The Ozonix HR200 is a bow hunter's best friend. It weighs less than two pounds and is super compact. And besides my bow, it's the most important piece of equipment I take into the field. If you don't believe me, do some research and find people who've used them. Ozonix technology works and can and will beat a whitetail's nose time and time again. Check them out at ozonixhunting.com. Also, be sure to check out the bonus Ozonix footage. It proves the effectiveness of these machines. call this Ozonics experiment and we're going to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that Ozonics is the coolest thing in the world and it truly does work. We have a food source. The idea is the Ozonics is running. Once deer come into the area then we're actually going to shut it off. We're going to see how long it takes for them, for the ozone to clear out and see how long it takes for for them to react to it.
once the ozonics was turned off and then you could hear him blowing and carrying on and he took off that was approximately 15 20 seconds after i turned it off where he was at is directly downwind from us when he was at the corn that shows you right there that ozonics works beyond a shadow of a doubt <laughs>